Two decades ago, and I got the necromancer's faced big the log. of evil and emerged uh, victorious. Uh, uh. I cannot hope to surpass his achievements, but I will try to bring balance to those raging forces that threaten to tear the world asunder in these days. The spirits are restless near Chaldeum. I must quiet them. Hey, welcome to the stream. It's super cool that they give you the log afterwards that, you know, you can totally miss if you're not paying attention. But it totally tells you, hey, you know, I'm the I'm the the apprentice of the guy from the second game. Oh shit, you're an illusionist. Not beast mode! Not beast mode! Go away! Go away! I don't want to play with you. Grab protection shrine, they'll help. I can stand still and get my regen up for a second. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, at least it gives you five seconds of regen before it disappears. And the fact that enemies moving you causes that to go away is kind of annoying, but whatever. That's the point of having those enemies being able to push you around. Just so that you can, just so that it kind of adds extra difficulty to the game. I can scarcely believe this heat. Oh, is it hot? I'm sorry. Maybe you shouldn't be wearing metal. Then again, that's a stupid thing to say because, you know, things trying to kill you. So, what do I know? I'm just some asshole sitting on his couch. Like, backseat driver of the frickin' demon inquisition. <laughs> Oop. Here we go. Let's go this way and kill everybody. I'm having fun. This is a good stream so far. Oh, it would help if I actually tried to burn these guys down a little faster. Go over this way. Uh oh. We got elite son. I don't have any fucking hatred. Ooh. That's a decent ring. Much better than that. It's not. It's slightly better than that. Um, fudge it. I want the extra, extra damage. I feel like that's more important. All right, we're in Alcarnas. Ooh, and they gave us an experience pool right away. I love the randomness of that. Just always giving you some type of bonus to experience. Here we go. Yeah, let's get. I saw a body over there. I bet this body's gonna drop a book. Nothing. Damn it. Dick tease. <laughs> oh, but this'll drop a book. The Valrus Tell me about things. As modern as the best battlefield commander of all demons, having defeated the angels many times in the eternal conflict across Pandemonium and the Yo, he be beaten on them the demons. Oh Civil shit. War. If the Lord of Sin ever assaults our realm, we truly have much to fear. Hmm. Okay. There. And it's coated white. Let's see. What do we have to socket into that? Oh, good. We can't equip our dexterity. Very nice. We have new skills. Nothing for anything I use, though. Let's look at our character. Wow, there's a lot of white and red on her. She looks kind of like the white version. By the white version, I mean the white clothed version of, uh, What's her face? Uh, Kate Beckinsale's character from Van Helsing. Terrible movie, I know. I apologize for bringing up Van Helsing. 
I'm still waiting. I will go to hell if you ask me to do so. Time to save everybody. Here we go. Oh shit, we're almost level 39. Or 40. I mean, Help shut up. Us. You're not you my dad. Yeah, yeah, get them all. Massacre. Oh, we got double damage from our Nephilim shit. Yeah, buddy. Bring in the pain and the noise and the funk. Hell yeah. It's a pretty good skill. It doesn't kill enemies quite as fast as the uh, rapid fire, but it's still worth it to use. Especially, it's it's good for generating hatred. I wish it generated hatred based on how much damage it did. Just because then when you start doing AoE damage, it'll do, it'd kind of increase the amount of hatred you generate by an exponent. Which would be very beneficial to my playstyle. So then I could just waste my rapid fire and then, you know, start off a new uh, skirmish with a volley. Oh wow, so... Apparently I've saved enough people that saving the people that are still in there isn't a priority. Hey, level 40 badass. Fearless veteran. I got a sigil. Getting stuff. For giving me stuff. I don't know if I deserve it, but I get it. For doing this. Passive skill unlocked. Custom engineering. Let's take a look at that. Increase the duration of your caltrop. It's marked for death, spike trap, and sentry by 100%. Increase the maximum number and charges of sentries to 3 and spike traps to 6. That's relatively important. Okay, brooding's good. Uh, we can get rid of this since I already have the hatred bonus on the other one. Because I do very much like using the... Uh, Sentry skill, so having an additional sentry will increase my ability to generate damage. Pretty significantly. Like, I'll use it in the boss here, and since the boss arena is pretty small for this next boss fight... Um... Kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh, there's another guy attacking me here. Oh, there's lots of cars attacking me. Between having three sentries laid down that last a while and having the uh, Reign of Arrows uh, taking out everybody, that'll uh, really help in small, like, boss arenas. Thank the gods. Cool. Can't wait to use it. I like that. So I think it's weird, I actually just, you know, earlier today I was playing and I hit level 60, uh, which was, you know, the old level cap, with my, uh, my shit, it's Belial, so actually sad, speaking. Sad Where is it going there? Oh yeah, I was saying I hit level 60, which was the old level cap with my Witch Doctor earlier today, and it was super cool. But I was confused because it still gave you the same. It still gave you the same. Uh, uh, the same old challenges as the uh, the original, the vanilla game. Which is like, why? Why would you do that when you have a new level cap? Why would you give me? You know, challenges specific to like hitting a level cap. when I hit the old level cap. I mean, it does, eh. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It just kind of felt weird to me. It's like, well, they didn't really think about that one too much, did they? You know what? We're going to lay down three of these and see how quickly they do damage. Do that in Reign of Arrows and see how quickly that burns down. It's actually working pretty fast. 
This is fun. I like watching that. That was cool. Let's do that there a little too far. I wish I could increase the range on those somehow. Uh-oh. I gotta go salvage some shit. <laughs> I feel like being able to increase the range on those sentries would really kind of... Oh, we can't get rid of the stuff yet, or can't remove the stuff. I keep cutting myself off here. I feel like being able to increase the... God damn it! Now I don't even know what I'm going to say. Fuck it! Let's not talk about it anymore. I'm angry. Damn it. Sometimes I just can't find the words. Six, twenty-four, level forty. This has got to be able to replace Kane's robes by now. Yep. I'll be sad to see the extra experience go away, but it's a very small amount at this point, so it's not the end of the world that we're replacing that. That would be nice. Shit, you can't get new ones to make until level fifty-four. Shit. That's a hell of a of a step up. We got I got a gift for Vickers. Got health potions I need. Put these away for now. Clear out more inventory space. Bam bam. Oops. Put these away as well. There we go. Alright, now our inventory is nice and cleared out for the next step of our journey here. Ah, someone's online. Mozboss is online! Hi, Mozboss! He's on Xbox, he's not in the chat yet. Lair of the Witch. Oh shit, shit's about to go down, sons. Multiple. Man, sh just show up already. Your fate is sealed, Magda. The chase bitch versus here. bitch. Here it, it comes. Fight of the century. Lyle, you hunted me, but Lyle's Imperial Guard captured your little witch, Leah. Soon, oh, no. her power shall be his. She kind of gives away exactly who Belial is with that line she says there when she says Belial's Imperial Guard. Oh wow, she's taking a lot of damage very quickly. This is actually kind of annoying because it's it's an ad fight. So once you do a certain amount of damage to her, she shields up, and then you have to attack uh, her pets or minions or whatever the fuck you want to call them before you can do damage to her again. At least I'm not getting hit by those damage fields or by those freezing fields. That would not be fun. Then again, I don't think she is capable of doing much damage. Uh, just in general. All the fucking people she's summoning in sure as hell can. So still got three of those up, and the bitch is dead. Ooh, and I get legendary bracers. These crushers. Ooh. Something for the follower. There you go, buddy. Something else for the follower. There you go, buddy. Wow, stronger every day, huh? Um, he's got all his skills leveled up. I didn't get any skills. However, I do have some legendary bracers to check out. Custarian Wrist Guards. Picking up Gold Grant's experience. Oh, shit. That's, uh, that's worth it. It's totally worth it, man. Like, for really realsies. Cool! Let's send off that gift since we have a moment of reprieve as well here. Alright. The bitch is dead. We killed her. She is no longer alive. Bitch versus bitch and bitch won. I don't know what else to say. Anyways, so now that we've defeated her as I said a little earlier that is going to be the end of the stream here uh, thanks for everybody who joined us um, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did give us a follow um, you can check out the